And Jaguar Land Rover CEO Thierry Bellore has resigned. JLR had appointed Bellore as CEO in 2020. It was done in a bid to return UK's biggest automaker to profit after it took a big hit from the pandemic. Now, prior to that, Bellore was the CEO of Renault. Now, within months after taking over as chief of Jaguar Land Rover, Bellore unveiled automaker's global plans. It was called Reimagine with the target to become an all-electric luxury brand from 2025. But supply chain issues, they have been plaguing luxury auto sector. The loss of production has even resulted in a loss of market share for JLR. However, Balor managed to bring the company back on track over past few quarters. JLR's parent company, Tata Motors, said, Adrian Mardell, he will be the interim CEO of the company. Mardell has been part of Jaguar Land Rover for 32 years now and he is a member of executive board for three years. JLR revenue during second quarter that ended on September 2022 was up 36% year on year and 20% quarter on quarter. It's at 5.3 billion pound. The products, they have an order book of over 200,000 units with three most profitable models, new Range Rover, new Range Rover Sport and Defender that account for over 70% of order book. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.